The Boise foothills, a large open space area right outside the back door of Idaho's capital city, have become a favorite playground for hikers, mountain bikers, dog walkers, and OHVs. User groups say the Ridge to Rivers trail system, which stretches from the top of the foothills to the valley floor, is one of the best trail networks anywhere in the West, with 135 miles of trails. We're phenomenally lucky to have what we have here. This is unparalleled. Boise gets a lot of uh, attention even in national magazines for its trail system. To keep order among all the different user groups, a visionary partnership called Ridge to Rivers was formed in 1992. Today, land managers say it's a model that provides near seamless management of multiple use by six agencies. That partnership is outstanding. If you spend a lot of time on the trails here, you'll see that um, you do go from forest to BLM to Boise City property, and you will find the same signing system throughout. The agencies manage more than recreation. Several bands of domestic sheep graze through the foothills in the spring and fall. And the Idaho Department of Fish and Game manages a large winter game range in the east foothills. I don't know of another large wildlife management area close to a large city like this. Sheep rancher Frank Schertz says it can be a challenge for his herders to move sheep through all of the foothills recreation traffic but most people like to see the sheep passing through. 95% of them, they just love to see those sheep. God, we didn't know this was happening up here. This is so neat. This is so the old times. You know, you gotta run them right. You gotta respect each other. There's no doubt about that. Indeed, respect for other users and lots of education about the responsible, shared use of the foothills has been instrumental in maintaining good relations between different user groups. The busier the trails are, the more we all need to understand that our use shouldn't negatively impact somebody else's use. We all really need to get along. It's absolutely critical um, here because there are a large number of mountain bikers. A mountain bike travels faster than a, a hiker and uh, it, it's important to respect the other person's trail experience uh, as being just as important as yours. And it, it's the way to keep the trails open to everyone. To give recreationists a heads up about sheep moving through the foothills, the Idaho Rangeland Resource Commission does media outreach and care and share signage at trailheads. It's been effective in educating dog owners about keeping pets leashed and teaching mountain bikers how to deal with guard dogs. Some problems still exist, however. We struggle a lot with um, unauthorized ATV use, off-route motorcycle use, um, lots of hill climbing, and of course that creates a, a very big erosion problem. And some antler hunters have chased deer. I personally have seen uh, people letting their dogs chase deer, and their theory seems to be that if they chase the animals around, the antlers will pop off. And I, I just, that to me is, is about the worst thing we could do on a winter range. There are also issues with dog owners failing to pick up their dog's waste. The city has begun writing tickets to dog owners to boost compliance. Most of the time, user groups and agencies work on positive projects that enhance the Boise foothills. With funds from the New Belgium Fat Tire Festival, for example, Swimba contributes to new trails and builds them with volunteers. We've uh, recently completed Mahalo Phase 1 and we've flagged Phase 2. We've done a lot of work on the Schaefer Butte Trail System. Uh, a lot of it was initially built by Swimba members and it was adopted by Ridge to Rivers. We funded the Fat Tire Traverse and contributed to Watchmen. I could go on and on. Idaho Fish and Game recently worked with the Idaho Transportation Department to build an underpass on Idaho Highway 21 to reduce winter kill losses about 200 animals can get killed in a heavy winter. That's a, a beautiful wildlife underpass. It, it, it's, it's open, uh, lighted, not too deep. It's going to function really well. Every March, fish and game volunteers plant sagebrush and bitterbrush on burned over lands to provide food and cover for wintering deer. In some years, they have planted 100,000 shrubs in a single season. The vegetation that we are striving for uh, is essentially healthy shrub step rangeland. Fish and game officials say sheep grazing in the foothills helps control white top and noxious weeds. The 
yeah, the sheep have been at least as useful over there as spraying and a lot less impact. And skeleton weed, that's because uh, early in the spring, they like that skeleton weed. And they really, they really eat it. And it's the same way the cheatgrass. Sheep grazing helps reduce fire danger in the foothills too. I think it is vitally important. It takes a lot of the fuel load out of it. It has, it has to. By all accounts, multiple use management in the Boise foothills is working well. And a big part of that is because of the Ridge to Rivers partnership. The Ridge to Rivers program has been incredibly uh, successful. People from the different agencies really understand the importance of the foothills. They understand the importance of the open space above Boise. And they also understand that by you know, collaborating with other agencies uh, is how we're going to get things done.